So, same exact problem. Now, everybody at least I, I think listened to my first step, which was when we need to solve for square root, we got to isolate. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a 5 to both sides. We got that pretty majority of students I saw went to go and do that. Now, the next thing, Justin, is we have x plus 7, or the square root of x plus 7, is equal to x plus 5. Now, unlike the last problem we did, we now have an expression on the right-hand side. So if I want to undo the square root, I do have to square it. But now I have to square the expression. So we have to remember, well, what does x plus 5 squared mean? Well, first of all, guys, 5 squared means 5 times 5. So x plus 5 squared means x plus 5 times x plus 5. Right? You've got to multiply them by each other. So now you have to use FOIL. And what you'll see is that's x squared plus, um, I'll just write it out, 5x plus 5x plus 25, which is x squared plus 10x plus 25. I just did FOIL. x plus 5 squared is x plus 5 times x plus 5. x times x is x squared. 5 times x is 5x. Five, 5 times x is 5x. Five, 5 times 5 is 25. 5x five plus 5x five is 10x. Have you seen that, Justin? OK. So x plus 5 squared, guys, is a trinomial. Now you guys can see we have a quadratic. Oh, we talked about solving quadratics. We can't solve quadratics using linear properties. What we're going to have to do is use factoring. So I need to, to do factoring, though, we have to set it equal to 0. So I subtract an x, and I subtract a 7. I have 0 equals x squared plus 9x plus 18. But you have to get rid of these. You have to set them equal to 0. So to undo adding a x, I can still watch you. You subtract them on both sides. And then adding 7, you can subtract the 7 on both sides. So now it's set equal to 0. Okay. So now we need to factor this. Well, if you're going to go ahead and factor, ladies and gentlemen, remember we have 18 and positive 9. What two numbers multiply to give you? What two numbers multiply to give you positive 18 and multiply or and add to give you 9? No. What are the two numbers? One and You're right. Two and nine do would give you multiplied to 18, but they don't add to give you nine. Three and six. So now, x plus six, x plus three. X plus six equals zero. X plus three equals zero. Okay. So now we have our two solutions. But as I mentioned to you guys, the main important thing is we have to make sure we go back and check our answers. So if we go back and plug in our answers back into our equation, let's plug in negative 6. Negative 6 plus 7 is 1. The square root of 1 is 1, right? 1 minus 5 is going to be negative 4. And if I plug in a negative 6 for here, that's not going to work. Do you guys agree with me? Yeah, I guess so. Sure. Mm -hmm. No? Yeah. OK. Well, let's plug in negative 4 or negative 3. Negative 3 plus 7 is 4. The square root of 4 is 2. 2 minus 5 is negative 3. And if you plugged in negative 3 in for this x, you'd have negative 3 equals negative 3. So this answer works. That answer does not work which is what we call an extraneous solution. I feel like whenever you do big problems like this, you get really loud. 